of minutes it has gone from 0 to 15 and increasing very quickly hello everyone hello devinder hello sumi rani hello all good to have you and thank you for joining at such a short notice now i'll start answering few of the questions which i have received in your mails i don't know how many of the questioners are present today because this is a unplanned live but anyways first question is from gunjan and she has asked me about corona okay who is this dilram dilram yes i remember you dilram nagappa from neva nepal uh, nowadays i don't receive your live message okay uh, i am following you for last one year devender nagrajappa thank you you are the channel member you have joined the membership thank you so much for the support and i know even on that i have not been active for some time but you are still there thank you so much nagappa soon you will find more and more stuff on that so uh, don't worry uh, i'll certainly bring a lot of thing and today i am going to announce few things so some of you interested can uh, be benefited with that so thank you uh, thank you nagarajappa where are you from nagarajappa where are you from can you please yes okay maybe there is a lag and uh, oh you are from bangalore good okay so good sumi you are happy let's start let's start and then later on if you have any more questions you can type in i'll take the questions later on so hold on your comments for uh, maybe uh, you know few minutes i'll just finish there are four questions and after that if you have questions uh, you can write that in this okay so uh, first question is from gunjan and she has asked about uh, why i have not given any updates about corona and uh, what do i think about this corona so see i have not been giving update because i find there are already so many people making videos on that and some of that unfortunately are not even authentic they are not even giving the right information but i stopped because i felt uh, too much has been discussed about it and uh, in fact uh, even today uh, there are few things which uh, we do not know about corona so therefore i stopped making video on corona but here let me tell you the update because now i think for quite some time i have not given any update see first good thing about corona is now in india we all understand this disease quite well i have been meeting my doctors friends i mean on the phone and through various groups and i have been following now they understand the the disease much better and if somebody gets to hospital in time in fact the chances of fatalities or deaths are extremely low number 2 the disease in india maybe because of the strain or many other reason is not as fatal as in many of the european countries so we will probably not see the number of deaths in the proportion of the population we have as we saw in europe that is unlikely but yet india being such a huge country the numbers are rising and they are rising very fast you know our first 10 lakh took many months but the next 10 lakh from 10 to 20 lakhs uh, lakh people uh, i mean it, it became just in 21 days and i won't be surprised in next one month if we cross 40 lakhs so it is going to be there the the spread will increase but the real thing which we should not be uh, which we should be focusing is the number of deaths and percentage wise it is extremely low it is not a thing to worry from the point of view of the seriousness of the disease but the challenge is can our healthcare infrastructure handle it now i stay in hyderabad and i know many of the hospitals don't have bed today so problem is that that once the treatment is available but do you have enough people to treat do you have enough facilities so that will be the challenge okay and in corona i'll just give one update for all of you is please see that corona can present in any which way it can present as simple headache it can present as simple cough you need not have fever it can present as body ache it can present as one single diarrhea or stomach ache or loss of small uh, smell loss of taste any of these things can be corona so the point here i want to tell you is 
please see that if you find any of the abnormal symptoms, suspect it could be corona and don't depend on the test only because only the RT-PCR test will not guarantee that you are positive or negative. There is 30% false negative rate. So if you have a symptom and if your family physician suspects it's corona, please don't wait for the paper report because it's in the day 5, 6, 7 normally people get serious. So anything is there, you need to take care of one thing that is your oxygen saturation. So uh, get a pulse oximeter, it's about 5-600 rupees, you can buy from the market and note your oxygen saturation. Do a 6 minute test where you test your oxygen saturation first while sitting, then walk for about 6 minutes and again check your oxygen saturation after 6 minutes. If it is not falling more than 4-5%, then you are safe. If it is falling really more than 4%, then that's a warning sign. That means you need some, some treatment, some hospital care maybe. So in that case, you need to be really careful. But rest all the people, most of the people, nothing will happen. In fact, almost half of the people will never know they got corona positive. Recently, in I mean day before yesterday in Delhi, they tried to call people for vaccination trial and many of the people uh, turned out to be antibody uh, positive. I mean, they had antibodies already. That means most of them did not know that they had become corona positive, COVID-19 positive and again became negative. So this is the scenario with many of us. Many of us might have already become uh, resistant to it or at least for temporary for few months, we are li unlikely to get it if you have already got the infection. So that's about corona. One thing, if you have to remember, contact your family physician early if you have a suspect and Treat it with simple things like good wet vitamins, good um, healthy lifestyle, lot of liquids, maybe some medicines if required, whatever your doctor prescribes. I'll probably come up with some other series of uh, simple uh, things about Corona because a lot of new things have come, which I will uh, do it on Facebook and that would be in Hindi. So, wo Hindi mein rahega kyunki most of the people uh, do follow on Facebook. Uh, I'm following the strategy in Facebook, go on Hindi and in YouTube following this okay so now uh, this is it about Corona Gunjan the next question is from Bhumesh and Bhumesh was talking about communication skill so Bhumesh I have made uh, few videos on communication skills please go through it I have made about five C's of communication I have made uh, who is this uh, how Kadir Velu, how long this COVID-19 will last in India? It is nobody's guess. Uh, I don't even try to guess it because till now, whoever has tried to guess it, they have always been wrong. So we really don't know how long it will stay. Will it disappear? Will vaccine help us? These are all things in future. But one thing we know is now it is not a deadly disease. You don't have to fear it. Uh, life should be normal in few months, whether it goes or not. It it is not that disease which we thought in March. So that much uh, we can know. And now the treatment, if you are in time in the right doctor's hand, you will not die. That's a rule, in fact. Okay. So don't worry whether it goes or not or how well, uh, long will it go. In fact, it's likely to not go. Okay. All these viruses, they always stay normally. So I don't want to guess that. Anyways, uh, communication skill I was talking about... Uh, Bhumesh questions. Bhumesh is telling that how do you develop communication skill? He has asked me. So I have already made few questions, uh, few few videos. I'm sorry about communication skills. One video is on I think uh, seven C's or six C's of communication. Please go and watch it on the channel. Another is about public speaking. I have given ethos, logos, pathos. I have given the idea about what makes you effective communicator, what are the key things, how can you, uh, please hold on your comments, I will take them later once I finish these questions. Then uh, there are a few more videos on assertiveness, there is a very good video, it has come up. So please see assertiveness, you know, confidence, how do you have confidence in speaking and how do you speak your mind without hesitating. So watch that video. And uh, also I am contemplating, uh, let me take a poll, how many of you would be willing to take, but this won't be free. I am contemplating a small crash course on public speaking, maybe on this 15th August, okay. Uh, I am not declaring it yet, but how many of you will be willing? If you think that you will be taking it, it will be a very nominal cost. I don't want to keep it, I could, I could keep it free, but I don't want to keep it free because 
lot of non serious people enter and it doesn't help okay and i don't want a very high number also so maybe i'll keep a very nominal charge of less than 500 and it will be a crash course for about 2 uh, hours every day 15th and 16th how many of you would be willing to take it just give me a small poll i'm not telling you to take it right now i've not even decided it just give it a small poll if you will take it just write uh, just write yes or why disruption in the audio okay guys can you hear me is it clear kadir velu is writing disruption in the audio if you can hear me please please uh, write in the comment box there is no other way to get a uh, feedback okay good 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 okay so uh, if i take a public speaking course uh, crash course on public speaking that is only for those people who think that they want to improve their public speaking and when i say public speaking it is not to go on stage and speaking with thousands of people it's also your day to day communication talking to your boss talking to anyone convincing someone so key things crash course i can say for about 4 hours where uh, i'll have lot of question answer and i'll give you some key ideas with some examples so if you are interested if in this group let us say i think there are some uh, even if 7 8 people say yes then i will probably consider it and if i charge less than 500 maybe less than 400 how many of you would be willing to take it just a just a rough poll don't don't think i'm doing to do it only if i see uh, some uh, response from you probably i will conduct it otherwise i am already conducting my online courses that is going on in a another platform not on youtube mind you none of my course has ever been less than 6000 rupees so what i am offering is uh, just because some people have written me okay good so i see some response uh, but not enough number of yes so i don't think uh, Yes, I will take hundred percent. Mahadev Thakur. Okay, uh, Nagarajappa is already there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I am seeing some people uh, who are responding. Let me see. Let me see. I'll I'll probably uh, put a post and then. Uh, I mean, if I have few, at least a group of few people, then uh, the course will be good. Uh, you know, there should be interaction. There should be some practice. There should be some one on one feedback. I don't want very high number also. anyway so about communication uh, bhumesh if you are hearing because this was your email uh, question if you are hearing uh, consider if i join uh, if i am announcing a course consider that on 15th august and on 16th august two days if at all i am announcing guys in uh, maybe by today night or tomorrow morning you will see a link and through that link you can register for the course and maybe we'll do it okay let's see let's see even if few people join i don't mind it now uh, let's uh, take the next question and then you can also open okay so sabina from west bengal uh, i don't know from which place in west bengal but she has written one question that she wants to become a public speaker like me a professional speaker like me so how can she become now this question in fact so many people have asked and if i'm not wrong for uh, i mean maybe a year back i have made a post where i have written the steps how you can become a professional speaker okay so whoever wants to become a professional speaker sabina if you are there uh, listen to it if you want to become a professional speaker first thing start speaking with the people around you kids around you start going to schools of course now schools are not there but if you have some kids make them sit uh, at some distance and start telling them small lessons okay choose one topic and master it okay i will i will answer kadar all your questions first let me complete this so the first part is practice start talking and yes if you can do a public speaking course good even if you can't do if you think you have decent ability to communicate then start speaking and speak in the language in which you are comfortable so if you are comfortable in bengali start in bengali you need not start in english only if you are not comfortable okay by the way in this communication i also want to take a small portion about how to improve english fluency okay now the second thing what you have to do is uh, after you have done it and after you have taken few sessions with kids or younger audience uh, 
it will give you some confidence it will also give you some feedback you will realize where are you missing where are you good and where you need to improve if possible record your few first few speeches okay and after that if you find it is good enough then venture into bigger areas don't invest anything initially yes you invest if you want to invest invest in skill building okay take courses to build your skill learn some standard operating procedures i mean some certain things you should know as a public speaker okay how to handle audience because there are all kind of people will be there in the audience some people will be disturbing some people will be very good some people will be very calm some people will not respond there are so many things so in my view there is one bottom line which you have to remember is practicing the more and more you practice you reveal yourself to your your, your skill okay and slowly you will improve so without waiting without hesitation if you want to be a public speaker start speaking second important thing start collecting original content okay please don't become a copycat speaker i have seen so many young youngsters who have got into the speaking thing and even some of the retired people who have got into they are simply copying someone or else they read a book and try to just explain that please understand the world has moved away from the jargons if you are giving something which is already available and if you are giving it in the same way people will not be interested you will not go far you have to create your own content when i say old own content obviously things are same but you have to create your style you have to bring your own examples so become observant about about life see things and from there you will get some real life examples if you if you have seen my speeches uh, on youtube you will find i often give examples from my life from my observations that makes your content really rich and inspiring and that helps people to uh, grow okay so get into habit of noticing events around you events which can become example for a topic on which you speak okay third thing please don't in the beginning start speaking on everything master few topics probably start with one or two topics and master them talk only on that okay maybe a small gathering you know often a professional public speakers who are trying to become they they do this mistake that they try to talk on everything please don't do that you know that will make you jack of all and master of none and there are too many jacks what you have to do is create mastery in few topics and it's not difficult read go deep google it go on internet read books one topic it could be anything it could be leadership for some people but again the leadership audience will be very mature so see that the, i mean do you have that kind of experience because it's not just about knowledge it's also about exposure you know have you seen that much life to teach people leadership have you been into a leadership position or if you're not been have you at least exposed yourself to see that because just bookish knowledge will not help in solid training okay then if you have done this much work then you will figure out your own way every trainer every public speaker carves out his own way there are always some unique uh, ideas of a person which helps him to grow so that will develop but do these three things first start speaking and judge yourself watch yourself in camera and see how far you can go second thing is uh, what is second thing i told yeah start collecting incidents Uh, start being observant create your own content and third thing is don't spread yourself too thin don't talk on everything in the world get to one or two topic create your niche and then go after it that will help you a lot so these were my tips for public speaking or people who want to become professional speakers yes some have also asked me about how much money can you make there are public speakers who are struggling there are public speakers who are making very much like any other profession it is same so don't go with that intent okay if you are having a job don't leave your job and go especially in these times okay do it as a part time do it for some time free free of cost and gather experience make a long term plan then there is a good scope no doubt okay even online you can do yes and all the teachers you can also think of online training courses i have taken few courses i have learned how to create online course how to get it and i am already doing it now you know? so there is a lot of new things there are a lot of new things coming in this world so in this new world i mean the post covid world will be uh, i mean different in few things
so take advantage of that okay so i think this is about questions there are one more two more questions which are irrelevant so i am not taking that so sorry for that but let's and english related questions i have um, i mean i mean there are plenty i am not taking because i have told many times you want to learn english learn from english teacher i have already shared what i knew about english so i am not a person to you know teach you more about that now let me take some of your questions i'll just go back to the chat and uh, okay mahadev sai charan we can discuss about new education rules new education rules okay you are talking about education policy uh, i mean yes we can discuss i have gone through it but not entirely so i will hold uh, before really talking on the platform when so many people may be following me i'll i'll not make much comment on this but the policy looks very interesting on the surface there are few very good things there are few areas especially about medical education i'm really concerned what they have told about med- medical education so there are few areas of ambiguity in uh, this new education policy but there are some very good fundamental changes uh, which is like shifting uh, the the model from you know 5 plus 3 plus uh, i mean 3 plus 5 plus uh, what is that 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus uh, then 3 yes so that is uh, new than uh, making it uh, from uh, i think nursery now it it will become a recognized one that is good in, uh, in uh, your uh, mother tongue education primary education in mother tongue that is also a very good idea i i really support it and uh, these are the few things i i would not comment much because i have to personally go through it i have yes heard few experts so please excuse me about that now what are the other questions uh, okay some of you have told i will take 100% 100% courses so i will uh, post a link let me see how many of you join the course and then we i can always take a course i'll keep a very nominal fee just to see you know youtube audience whether they are interested or not okay mind you these are not my real big courses uh, because that requires a completely different uh, approach um, hello sir i am late chinmaya chinmaya padhan or padhan okay um, anil welcome anil and you met me okay good Kadar, can I join your team as a trainer? Kadar Velu, will you please send me some of your training videos? I can see, and if I find opportunity, certainly I'll welcome you. Um, who else is there? What inspired you to live, leave doctor, and become a motivational speaker? So I am basically, I mean, motivational speaker is what people understand, but I am not. exactly into motivational speaking although sometimes i do that because people call i am into wellness education so i am doing my doctor's job only but in a different way so i have a belief that doctors should not just treat patients but doctors should encourage by using positive psychology by using their knowledge doctors should encourage people to live a healthy life so basically i try to see that most people don't have to go to hospital and i take wellness workshops those are three day five day workshops in various places and that is what i am doing so that's why i have come from being a traditional doctor or a practicing doctor to uh, educator and a speaker public speaking has been my hobby since school days and then i got uh, trained also to become okay so that's it uh, kadar hello everyone so many of you have said hello thank you so much uh, sumi thank you shri devi pronunciation is very good thank you shri devi but many people actually uh, who are english expert they they don't like the way i pronounce so good that at least few people are liking it um, how to speak with situation in english madhav thakur madhav see i have made a video about how to speak on anything without preparation please go and watch it in that i have given one technique of impromptu speaking or extempore speaking like speaking without preparation so that video should not be much old i think maybe couple of months back or one one 
month or one and a half month back, I have made that video. Please look at that video. How to speak on anything without preparation or how to speak without preparation. Watch that video. You will find it useful. Okay. Then please share a few things what you learned from Ram Krishna. Ram Krishna Mart, I have been going for quite some time. Any time I have my free time, I try to go there. I love the campus here of Ram Krishna Mart in Hyderabad. It is so serene. It is so good. Uh, and uh, of course, all the Swamiji is there. They, they are always helping people. I mean, you find a very positive vibration there. You feel positive. And since uh, Vivekananda Institute of Human Excellence is there, which is... Uh, conducting lot of courses for many people who are not privileged you know many of the people cannot afford my courses directly so whenever i am available i try to go there take class there you know now corona time the classes are not happening as much but otherwise at least monthly four five classes i used to do there so it's a lovely spiritual place it's primary for primarily for spirituality it helps you to stay rooted stay grounded and I really like the environment there, the, the kind of ambience it gives, it, it charges you. So if you are from Hyderabad, you must visit Ram Krishna Mat. It's a place to be. And it doesn't matter whether you are a Hindu, Muslim, Christian or Sikh, it really doesn't matter. You will not find anybody uh, guiding you or making you leaning towards one religion or another. Okay, That's not the way uh, Ram Krishna Mat functions. So that's about Ram Krishna Mat. Okay, it has contributed a lot in my own help uh, growth. You know, uh, earlier I even had taken courses there when I was not a professional speaker. Mm, how to improve pronunciation? See, pronunciation uh, has to be observed. To be frank, I am not a right person because even my pronunciation is not perfect. But observe news anchors. Observe people whose pronunciation is good, authentic and try to practice and ask people that if I am committing a mistake in my pronunciation, ask them that please give me a suggestion. You know, I have told my wife, she is from English medium, I am from Hindi medium. I have told uh, my friends when I was learning English that please don't hesitate to find a fault. If I have a fault in my pronunciation in my English, Please uh, tell me. I am very open to take suggestions. Even my students sometimes suggest me and I take it very lightly. So that's the only way. Become observant. Yes, Shri Devi? Uh, how about your hobbies, doctor? Okay, my hobbies, uh, primarily I have, I mean for last few years I have been reading. And when I say reading, now my reading happens mostly on phone, audio books and all that. Second thing is I am interested and I am aware about political development. So I'm a political animal in a way. I'm a tech enthusiast. So I'm really interested in technology and uh, I've been a sports person. But uh, last year I had an accident. In fact, before last year I had an accident. And since then my active sports have stopped. So I used to play badminton every day. I played cricket in my school days, college days and chess, all the games, that's it. So it is, it's like looking like my interview now. Kadir, you are asking all those questions. Okay, uh, which book are you reading now, sir? And books you suggest us as most read book? Okay, so presently, I mean, right now, if I say I'm not reading any book, I'm uh, revising some of the books. So I'm, re I'm doing a revision of a book called Flow because I am in the process of conducting my course on Mind Mastery Tools. You know, I already have few students enrolled and I am taking live sessions for them on Wednesday and Saturday. So in that process, I am revising few books. So I have revised uh, Thinking Fast and Slow. Now I am revising a book called Flow. It's a book on positive psychology, book on happiness. So it helps me in improving my, uh, you know, I mean, I have to read again. These books I have read earlier. So otherwise I keep reading biographies and when I say reading again I am saying my most of reading now happens on net through audio. Okay, uh, Even if I get a book, uh, even if I have a PDF book, I try to listen it from audio software 
that is that is the way i have developed and i do it very fast because of my practice now i can understand it even if it is at 2x speed so that's how i do it and uh, other than that i read obviously books which are uh, which are evidence based which are not just hyperbole motivational book now i read books about either biographies or book which are solid research based so there are many authors who are writing it uh, now it is i don't read novels uh, that's it so passion to become a news reader in bbc world service good 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 that's a good place to be there i mean uh, at least you are aiming very high good kadir i appreciate mm, your role model i don't have one role model but probably i'm uh, i'm inspired by vivekananda's life i'm inspired by many i mean to be frank abdul kalam ji i'm inspired by in different different aspect different different people vision and mission uh, one vision to help people enough you know, people to bring positive change in their life uh, this is vision okay and how do i do it by using my knowledge of medicine and other things i can influence them to bring positive change in their life that's my that's my goal or aim whatever you can say i think now we can stop because only few people are asking repeated questions sir can you share with us golden key of life that you have followed first and foremost golden key even if my today's post you see is no matter what stay happy take a decision you will stay happy no matter what happens whether you succeed whether you fail whether something is happening the way you want it really doesn't matter that's the golden key i hold to and i follow to in fact many of my friends and sometimes my family members also say how can you be so um, relaxed every time you have to be happy make a decision you will be happy okay whether you are struggling whether you are succeeding whether you are not succeeding okay because if you are happy everything else will improve your chances of becoming successful also improve okay and try to make others also happy in this way don't give them false hope but that's my mantra stay happy no matter what yes when i say happy it doesn't mean you don't have to be ambitious yes you can be ambitious and happy mm. okay are you joined from impact foundation impact foundation i am joining in the sense i don't think there is any membership or as such but gampa nageshwar rao garu is somebody who is very respected in telugu motivation industry is a very good uh, speaker and he is doing a great job by giving uh, uh, these kind of sessions for lakhs of youth and uh, i was invited to speak on the platform and i went and spoke that's it that is the connection gampa sir i know him uh, personally and that's how i have been there is no membership as such if i am not wrong okay mm. how do you plan your day it is packed with the routine whatever i have my presently it's about making courses reading and making courses so i'm creating my courses online courses and i'm taking my sessions that's what i am doing miracle morning i'm sorry i don't understand that i i did not think like any miracle morning mm. saying is easier than than tell me the secret how can you stay happy mm, yes maybe you are right saying it easier than done uh, but then uh, see what is the other choice you tell me i mean kadar is saying it's easy to say stay happy but it's difficult i agree with you but that is what maturity suggests you know take any situation and ask yourself staying happy will help me or staying sad will help me and you'll get the answer so i'm choosing a better option that's it okay and this happens with practice consciously you can do it there are many philosophies but this is not the platform to discuss it i take a session on spiritual intelligence for wellness and stress management join it if you can afford join that sometimes uh, maybe i I'll, i'll launch it online for common people also and then you'll understand the philosophies behind it yes Mm. Mm, okay 
daily routine see i believe in uh, daily routine philosophy uh, as such i don't follow a strict routine but there are few things there is a concept of non negotiable okay if you have ever attended a time management class they'll teach you that okay at least i teach that non negotiable so you cannot plan everything i mean my philosophy is i cannot plan everything meticulously uh, i am not that disciplined but there are few things which i must do and that i do so if that happens rest of the things will always stay in place so you should know what are your non negotiables you should know what you must do and if you keep doing that others will fall into place so re- no what is your non what is that 20% which gives you 80% result it's called pareto principle you know that 20% of the things will give you uh, 20% of the causes will give you 80% result you should figure out english video on youtube even read newspaper can i uh, i can understand but i could not speak because you have to speak so me you if you don't speak you won't uh, you won't develop and more than reading for speaking listening is even more helpful so listen every day and speak also without speaking uh, uh, speaking will never happen it's a reflex we have to develop okay how how can one improve their eq i have made a complete 19 minute video on emotional intelligence just recently so please uh, kadar refer that okay even emotional intelligence is a three day topic so i cannot tell you here in just simple qa mm. online class what is your first task in the morning routine task there is nothing much i i yes i sit and i try to meditate meditate in the sense i close my eyes and i do some breathing exercise mm. online classes are very good my opinion is it is it is extremely helpful provided you have students who are willing that is why now i have decided in fact uh, earlier i used to do lot of free sessions but i have decided now no free sessions because online classes work if the students are serious it won't work if students are non serious okay if somebody is serious and interested in learning online classes are extremely helpful and there is a lot of good stuff online available and the advantage of online classes is there are no time barriers you can do it any time at your comfort if you get recording you can watch it any time and also you don't have to travel it is cost effective so i think oh, there is a lot of lot of benefit in online classes and it should definitely of course it can never replace the real classroom but still it can do quite a good job so that's my thing okay even if you are alone i have already mentioned in my last webinar uh, last live interaction how can you practice even if you are alone so i think uh, now it's almost how many 40 43 minutes so and questions are also drying up thank you so much and all those people who have told me that yes they are interested if i take a session maybe uh, i will announce it stay tuned today or tomorrow you will get i'm just testing it so a small batch for a crash course on public speaking for 15th august and 16th august 2 hour session each day okay it will be a crash course on public speaking where you will get a chance to interact with me and also i'll give you some key ideas about how can you improve your public speaking okay so if you are interested uh, stay tuned you can you will find it on the channel you will find it on the facebook you will find it on the community tab and you can also write me at ask drmodi@gmail.com or there is another new email id which is connect at the rate of drvivekmodi.com i am repeating connect at the rate of drvivekmodi.com okay so with this thank you so much guys at such a short notice many of you were able to follow it and you stayed for more than good 40 minutes i really appreciate thank you so much for your support and love and i hope you all grow and do well don't just watch these videos please try to implement step by step one by one i am there to help in whatever way i can do thank you once again good night